Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of Inktober. It's so crazy that it's here already and I'm super excited. I am a little bit nervous uh, to be able to finish all 31 days, but I have kind of given myself a motivator of promising you guys a zine by the end of all this. So here we go. <laughs> anyway, so as many of you know, I am doing my own list called Orientober. It's a list inspired by Korean, Chinese, and Japanese culture. And I'm really excited to do this theme because although my work does have kind of a creepy feel to it, I've never really resonated with all of the main Halloween themes, if that makes sense. So I'm not super into drawing pumpkins and stuff like that. I tried last year and it was honestly really difficult for me to keep up and actually be inspired for each day. So. I thought maybe making my own list would help me stay inspired and also I am thumbnailing all of my drawings ahead of time and I'm hoping to get multiple drawings or at least the sketches for the drawings done each day so that I can actually keep up with this year. <laughs> anyway, first off I want to say that my friend Miriam Tilson has an, an amazing video on kind of a pep talk and some tips and tricks for Inktober and I will leave a link to her video in the description and I really recommend trying to watch that at some point. Um, she has a lot of good tips and a lot of good encouragement and I kind of want to echo what she said in that video about not feeling so pressured by Inktober and you know I've been seeing a lot of encouragement on Instagram, and I really agree with this, do not feel bad if you don't participate in Inktober. I think a lot of artists feel like it is necessary to do so, but it's really not. And there are other challenges during October, but you don't even have to do those. I mean, it's all about what you find fun, what you find inspirational, and what you have time for or want to make time for. So please don't feel bad or pressured by the artist community to participate in events like this. Just have a good month, please, <laughs> and stay healthy. Anyway, so my plans for this month are to kind of keep it simple. So the drawings themselves aren't really super simple, but I am going to stick with the monoline type of look. I'm not going to use a brush pen, just a fine liner, and I'm going to go for it. I'm also trying a new inking method, and I don't really know how to explain it, it's just some of the lines aren't one continuous line like I have been doing. I kind of want to break it up to try to build a little bit of form, even though it's a completely flat drawing. And also, I am using this awesome new paper that I found. Sorry, Tabby says hi again. <laughs> this new paper that I found, well it's not new, it's new to me. Um, from B Paper, and I found it at my local art store, and it is made from recycled paper and hemp, so it's tree-free, and it's really awesome. It's, it's got this cool, uh, like, speckly look to it, and the paper isn't completely white, it's a little bit yellowish, and I really love it. I was excited to try it, and after trying it for this first Inktober drawing, I can say that I really enjoy this paper. It's a little bit different for me to be working on thin paper because usually I stick to watercolor paper, even for ink drawings, but I, I really like it and I'm excited to keep using it for the rest of the month. So I've got kind of my plan for Inktober. I've also got another project planned with my best friend uh, and she is an amazing writer, so there's kind of your hint there. <laughs> I will be making another YouTube video specifically about that at some point, and I'm really excited. I'm also co-hosting a couple of Halloween events. One of them is the Black Letter Ball, and the other one is Trick or Draw. I was invited to these by two different art friends, so I really wanted to say yes to both of them. <laughs> So I'm super excited to be able to host and kind of help with that. So again, if you don't, if you're not into Drawtober or Inktober or any month-long challenge, these two Halloween or October drawing events that I'm co-hosting are really great because you can do one drawing, you can do more than one if you want, but it's not a month-long challenge. So anyway, I will stop rambling. <laughs> I'm really excited because I do want to try to upload at least five days a week. I don't know if I'll get to every day or maybe I can schedule videos ahead of time so that there is one every day for you guys. But 
yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a really awesome month. It's gonna be extremely stressful because like I said, I'm moving also and I just have a lot of other things going on in my personal life on top of moving, but it's, it's gonna be good and I'm really excited and I hope that you guys have a really awesome month whether or not you are joining in a challenge and if you are, I will definitely be checking out the Orientober hashtag and the Inktober hashtag and whatnot to, to kind of check everyone's work out. So really looking forward to seeing your beautiful artwork and discovering some new artists. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will have another video for you tomorrow. So talk to you soon. Bye!